one's gonna go big hello and welcome back to the channel right then back to fruit machine emulation now i know i've kind of done the hundred pounders before in a previous video when the hundred pounders first invaded fruit machine emulation land but there's a couple of things different about this video which is why i'm going to have another go at them first and foremost of course there are now many DX layouts for £100 jackpot machines which did not exist when I made the original video because we started off with classics. Not that there's anything wrong with classics, I am more than happy to play a classic because the underlying emulation is the same, but of course it's nicer to have a DX. The other thing that we've got going on here is this machine on the right hand side which has just been released in the last couple of days by Ross over at Desert Island Fruits, which is Meerkats in Black, a not entirely subtle pun on the film Men in Black. And that's a slightly different Betcom, because I've, I've kind of made a mistake here. In previous videos that I've referred to all of these Betcoms as clones, and they are not clones. I've, I've kind of used the wrong terminology there, because in the truest sense of the word, a clone when when you clone one machine to another they are literally just a re-glass you know you change the graphics you change the sound you change the music but the game plays identically and that is not what has happened over the years with the betcoms even though the fundamental principle of playing the things which is to just force them out for a red top whatever the red top feature is on men in black of course of <laughs> Yeah, I can call it Men in Black there. On Meerkats in Black, sorry, it's it's the MIB feature there. And on the Winsons here, it's Mega Streak. So, yes, fundamentally, you're always doing the same thing on Betcoms. But they're not all entirely the same profile. And just to uh, show you this, there's a thread over at... Oh, that, by the way, is the release thread over at Desert Island Fruits. This is a DX. Released by... Ross over at Desert Island Fruits. He hasn't released a layout for a while, so it's really nice to see Ross releasing layouts again. He does do a very nice DX, so as ever, thanks are due to Ross for this layout, because he's done a really good job with this. Great layout to play. And over at Jackpotty Forums here, we have the actual... Th this is where the uh, a guy over here called Andy at the Jackpotty Forums, he announced the release of this machine, and it's not that long ago. We're only going back to, can you see there? September the 22nd, 2015. So we're like four and a half years ago that this machine was being released into the pubs. Now, the chatter over at Jackpotty is not very generous about this machine because... This is released here. This was by a company called G Squared. Can you look there? Just under, under the uh, note acceptor. Copyright G Squared Games 2015. The idea was that G Squared were going to kind of do their own stuff. They were going to kind of put their own machines out into the marketplace, but they kind of ended up doing Betcom semi clones. That's the phrase I should have used for these machines is semi clones, not clones. Now, the Jackpotty crowd were not kind about this the machine itself is a weird kind of hybrid i think it uses the base game from new york new york and the top board from the worminator which in itself was cloned into mutant ninja gerbils the point is that all of these things fundamentally and the winsons there is another variation on it so they're all i think semi-clones is the right way to describe these however the interesting thing about meerkats in black was that what a couple of people suggested and the thread is still there over at uh, jackpotty forums i will link it in the description to this one folks were saying that the way to play this one because it, it was a bit harsh on the force was that the way to play it was to actually take the game itself. Now, I was playing around with this earlier today because I thought, you know, I'll do a video on these because I haven't done a video on the 100 pounders in DX, guys. And true enough, 
I was on a board that was definitely not a £100 board. If you know these machines, you will know when you're on a board that's... Or you'll have a very good idea when you're on a board that's going to shoot the uh, the Mega Streak of the £100. It wasn't a £100 board, and I took the Neuralizer thing there, which is like the golden game on this thing. And true enough, it actually shot down to the Men in Black Mega Streak. I was really surprised. I think the final deal was between £5 and Men in Black, and I was like, oh, we obviously just going to be £5. I could have dealt at like 49 quid, which out in the wild you would have probably have done. And to my surprise, it actually went for... The no, final no deal went to Man in, Men in Black there, or Meerkats in Black, went for a flat 100. But it's actually put the machine... And let me just bring up the long-term stats there. This thing is running slightly over percentage. Now, this thing is set to a fairly generous... 86% and you can see there it's running at 88.99% so what I'm going to do for this video is now attempt a straight force on meerkats in black the Winsons here is kind of here as eye candy it's a fucking fantastic DX by Tommy C this I know I featured the classic in that previous video but by crikey this is a bloody nice DX by Tommy C here it's a horrible machine <laughs> as most of all of these fucking bet comms and semi clones are but if you just want some eye candy fire up the winston's dx here by tommy c so just because it looks nicer in the videos to have uh, two uh, machines side by side because one of them just kind of sits uh, like a, a column in the center of the screen i've got two of them running side by side here but we are going to be focusing on meerkats in black for this video and the difference i suppose is in the previous videos when i featured these betcoms and i did a, a video on the back in the 70 pound era as well i kind of had the machine set up so that they were sort of going to be okay the difference here is that this thing is actually running over percentage it kind of gives some credence to the idea that the way to play this is to not go on the straight force and to simply focus a little bit more on this game here because it will put the 50 pound the 100 pound and the men in black into the box so even though and i am this is partly my fault of course there's this perception that they're all just straight clones of each other they are not there have been changes in the profiles and how they have worked and if you read through this thread like i said i will link it there's a handful of players here saying you know what don't go on straight force on this one chaps just uh concentrate on the uh, the game that the, the the golden game rather because it will put the high values in there and just for completeness this is available over at Desert Island Fruits. Just been released in the last couple of days. A really good DX by Ross. So thank you to Ross for this release. So what we're going to do, you can see we've got our short-term stats there. So let's... Now, I am expecting this to play like a right fucking pig. So let's start off with a tenor. I'm not going to subject you to the whole thing. So I have a horrible feeling that this is going to want some horrendous amount of money off me. To let me force it out so let's just see how much it wants to start with just to get on the board we are on a pound a play here oh it's given us a uh, a a source of start there which is fine so let's just see what it's prepared to offer i suspect that this will be blocking at a fairly low amount so let's just see out the gate let's just see how badly it's playing when it is over percentage not by very much but it is over percentage so I will play it as best I possibly can here, which is probably not very good knowing fuck me. Now, I don't really know what the features do, but a good way of telling on these fucking things is what it shoots. So you can see there, we're certainly not going... Oh, we've got a, a no-lose high-low gamble there, so let's do that. Three pound. You can see there that all of our cash shots so far have been under a five. And we've got add again on the bonus. That's not much use to all that. So we can certainly get extra life there, so... We'll just keep going round. What's he going to go for? Two pound. We could do... I mean, what do you think? Add again. Like, you know what? Let's just take add again. It's going to hit a pound, isn't it? And you know what? I've got a... Oh, well, it can still... No, it can still go to four quid. Look at that. It lost the extra life. Like, this thing's blocking at five, isn't it? It's going to hit four quid there, I reckon. Oh, no. 750. Okay, so... 
That surprised me a little bit there in that it hit 750. We'll keep going round. Oh, a fiver. It has gone for the four quid. I've got to be honest with you, I'm a little bit surprised that it hit 750 there. Bear only in mind that this machine is actually over percentage as we start here. Another feature shot. Let's just see how far we can go. Oh, that's going to be... I suspect that will be death. So there we go. At least it put us into the board fairly quickly. So you can see there, we got a £7.50 shot. Now, do remember, though, that this machine is set to 86%, so you are not going to find one of these... Oh, you can see the gamble there losing on the trail by the, the absolute twats. What they love to do is build the trail up to 7 but it always holds this saucer trail here. The problem with the uh, the or the icons trail, as it is known, because these icons are common across many of these machines. You can see there how many times it loses the gamble down, and what it will do in the end is fill in the saucer trail. And the problem with the saucer trail is, is it really? It's just on it there. It really hates to give you the top men in black feature or the the top red mega streak feature when it's off the icons entry so let's just see what we can get off this i mean this is probably going to need a we've got a red number there so we can gamble again it's probably going to need a fair whack of cash through it oh look at that i think that seven pound fifty shot there was a little bit of an aberration i'm surprised it shot 750 there i'm almost wondering if that was a strange little bit of afterplay the other thing, by the way, that you have to look out for when you're getting the uh, the feature readied up, as it's referred to, so it's MIB on this machine here, is it has to do it consistently. What the fuck has started doing and what they coded in was that the feature there, so it's MIB on this one, it can red up on one feature and then stop redding up on a feature or two after that. And what that indicates there is a fake, uh, fake redding up. It has to do it consistently feature after feature and that then tells you that it is progressing towards the sort of mega streak board so we don't just seeing that thing go red once that mib there when we get onto the feature is not enough we need to see it doing it can, uh, without fail on every single gamble up the cash trail when it opens up the exchange we need to see it doing that and I, I do think that £7.50 board was a little bit of an aberration there. Because you can see here, it's... Oh, that... Is that going to have me? Uh, no. Get our bonus sources. And there we are. Let's go off again. So that's now... Oh, shall we have the fucking cherries? Oh, there we are. So we've got a win there. It has gambled up at least. Well, you know what? Oh, now then. Can you see there? It actually just turned Men in Black red. Now, I, I, you know, I'm going to call it Men in Black. That's obviously what it basically is. Now, I do not believe for one second that it's going to let, let us have it on this board. And I would say that that is probably a fake red MIB symbol there. So let's just see if we can... Um Well, it's taking the extra life. It doesn't like you having an extra life, this thing. Oh, come on. Not not two. Oh, that is really dirty. You saw that. Game over to mystery to game over. Now, it did. You saw the logo there go red. I will bet you now. I'm going to say a pound to a penny that that logo will not go red on the next feature entry. I think that was far too early. So let's just see if we can gamble up. Look at... Oh, and it has... You know what? It has read it up. Okay, fair enough. If it keeps doing that consistently... Okay. Is this going to do something really weird here? Because I would be mega, mega surprised if this goes for a an easy mega streak here. Oh, roll even is always lose. But we have seen two consecutive red ups there. On the top to do it again. If it does it again, oh, lose the gamble down. It'll put a number in. Lose the gamble down. 
And what it'll possibly do before we get an actual uh, entry is it'll give us the flying saucers entry. And you can see, by the way, just look at my uh, short-term stats here. That's, um, I'm 50 quid in at this point. And it just loses it. This is how they fuck you around. You can see that it keeps, but it keeps losing down. It'll gamble in. It'll lose down. It'll probably do it again. And what it might do in the end is, yeah, exactly like that there, is give you the flying saucer start or the icon start, which is generally regarded to not be the board that's going to actually give you the MIB. It has read it up there, and apparently this one can do it. So let's, you know what, we'll, we'll play the boards out. Sorry, I was supposed to be editing all this stuff out, but it's playing slightly differently to what I was expecting. So you know what, we will stick with it. We'll stick with it on the video here and see what it does. I don't know. I, I could be completely wrong, but to me, I think this thing should be way off. But it's playing slightly unusually. We'll just keep going with the... Uh, see, it's avoiding... It's not hitting the big cash values there, is it? I haven't learned the features. Sorry, on the older ones, I do know what the features are. Things, I've never had a real one around here. So I've not learned what the uh, th the features are that it kind of shows out on, like Poker Face did and that kind of thing. But I think this isn't a foul move. That's probably going to have us. Yep, that, there's the extra life gone. Oh, you know, it's, it's, it's probably going to take us straight back off us. It does not like you having an extra life, this machine. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There goes the life. That'll be the life gone. It has still left. Uh, certainly on um, the ones that I'm aware of, there are three features at the top end that it basically won't hit. And that's going to have us. You'd never win the fucking roll even on this. I think this is still in the dead zone. I'm not convinced that these, uh, these reds on the MIB are genuine. I think it's still dicking us around. That'll be a... Uh, that was three holds, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So now that's, that's the uh, 50 to 60 pound... Oh, sh sorry. I went over a bit there. We'll go up to... Uh, that's 65 quid in. And it's done the fucking saucer start. Let's see if it reds up. Oh, shot up. Well, it's not readied up anyway, so you, you don't actually want it off this board because it's normal at this point, and obviously you want the uh, super feature, the red version of it, because that then gives you the... Oh, it's opened up the game. Oh, I should fucking hope so, you know. We're like, you know, 50-odd quid into it at this point. We're on the uh, 50 to 65 pound block. That's going to have us. Oh, you actually survived to continue. Yes, no, that's amazing. It should probably be some kind of international news announcement about that. So we have got the game open. Oh, not feeling good about that one. Wow, we survived again. Amazing. In we go. See, on the one, it kind of looks alright. But, it's not... Let's just see what these cash shots do. You can see here, it's keeping... Two, oh, that's two more shots. It can't fuck us off here, surely. So it's got a four pound. It's going to have to shoot 750 here or hit the icons. So it's, it's shot 750 there. Uh, I think it's going to kill us now. Still, it has given us. Ooh, this is a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, but obviously it's not clear. Well, I've got to be honest with you folks, this is not exactly what I was expecting it to do. For a, for a Betcom that was over percentage when we started playing, but... You can see it... it you can, oh, there we are. So, there's a bit more value in it than I was expecting, but... 
it was certainly not going to let's just go for the bonus there it was certainly not going to tip into an actual mega or anything really substantial there let's see if that reds up no you see there it has now stopped redding up so that means that the as i understand it and this was explained to me by the folks over at jackpotty because i expressed my consternation with the swing my axe in a local pub which i have covered before that it was redding and then it stopped redding and one of the guys over said, yeah that means the reds don't count if it you have to see that red every single time when you gamble up an exchange otherwise it is essentially just a fake red which they chuck in if it doesn't it did look like it was going to do it on every single one but it stopped doing it now so you know what? i'm going to deliberately miss this because that's a fucked board and this is how i will play the real thing by the way if it's not a red board if it's not a, a red top board i will just kill it off because there's no point playing it let's just see if we can get in again oh there we are so we are in there let's just can get the exchange you see there the MIB did not, you can see there, it's not redding up. So that means that, yeah, it was fucking dicking about with us. And what it will do now is give us these fly, uh, uh, flying saucer starts. Which are going to be no good. So, you've seen what these boards can do now. It's all the upgrades. But there will not be... To, to start with a £10 shot... We are quite a few fucking quid into this now. I mean, the next stage of happiness, from my... I've never played this one out in the wild, but from similar machines, we have had... Uh, there's a New York, New York over here, which I've played a few times to swing my axe. My understanding on these is that the next level of happiness is getting the £25 plus repeat chance cash shot. That's going to kill us, I think. Oh, we, we are surviving these in a way that doesn't normally happen. Normally, the continue yes, no, and the uh, roll even to continue are just death on these things. It's a bit weird. So let's just see what it does here. Because it's the £25 cash shot for me that I take to indicate as the next level of happiness. Let's just see if it's prepared. To, I don't think it will. Although it's, it's kind of proving me a bit wrong. We can move it. Well, we can't move in there. So it's the arrow will just put straight. Oh, fuck off. High load continue. It's, not, it's got an extra life though, remember. And... Well, we'll use our move in since we've got it. But there's no... I would actually kill this board. I'm just kind of curious to see here what it will actually offer us. I This is the board that if I was playing one of these for real I would just kill it off because it's obviously not a jackpot board. But there was the, the uh, suggestion over at Jackpot that the thing to do on this would be to give the game a go if you can get the uh, Neuralizer or the Golden Game effectively as that can drop the, the actual jackpot or the MIB streak on you is gonna have a soon, isn't it? We're not gonna get around, uh, not gonna, not gonna get away with going around the board like this for too much longer. But we'll, we'll see it out to death. There we go. I think that will be the death. That, right, a million pounds says this is a lose. There it is. Right, okay. Bonus sources. So let's just have a look where we're up to. We are now. That is, as we get to the end of these credits, that is 65 quid in. And I think we've been offered a tenner. Is that, is that right? I think we've been offered a tenner. At best, I'll pause you and I'll bring it back when something's going on. Okay, we're now £100 in. It is opening the mega game. You can see there it shot out everything apart from the uh, 25 quid. I haven't seen it do a £25 shot yet. And we are now £100 in. The thing that you might be able to get some value out of here is taking that Neuralizer game there. But I think most people, of course, weren't doing that, or very few people were doing that. Maybe there's a bit of value there, but I would just play this. I have known that I will just play this machine 
as I did any other bet comps. Let's just see. It's going to have me here. It's not doing the £15 shot. It's not doing the uh, £25 shot. You know that we're coming up to death here. And maybe those folks who said, you know what, just take the game there. They were right. So there you go. That's game over. And that is £100 in. Let's just see if it puts us back in. It's not reading up either. Nope. So let's go another tenner, and that will be one hundred and ten pounds in. Let's just see what it does when it. It's not redding up. So those reds earlier on were definitely fake reds, and now it's going to fuck us around on the gamble here. And no reds on the MIB. It's not redding. Okay, I'll bring you back when something changes. Okay, here we come. This is 125 to 130 pounds in. It's still doing fake reddings as well. It'll red up on one board and then it off for two boards and it'll stop redding up. So that means it's a fake red. Let's just see what we can actually get off this. Yep, it's not gone red there. Oh, that's a, an icon's entry, so it doesn't really matter. But let's just see what it's prepared to offer off this because we are now £130 into this bastard. An amusement with prizes. Oh, I had a fucking uh, no-lose gamble there. That was my fault. I don't think it'll make much difference. I think this should, this must be prepared to shoot 25 quid cash in the not-too-distant future. Let's just see. Let's just, let's just imagine that we're trying to get the best we possibly can out of this board. So... Even though I think this is a fucked board, even though I don't think this is a, a jackpot, I don't think it's a mega streak. Let's just see how far we can take it. I haven't seen it shoot. I, in fact, I don't think I've seen it shoot 15 quid yet, let alone 25 quid. But we'll keep with it. Let's just see what it wants to do on this board. We have got no gamble there. It has a terrible habit of going for lower values. Three could go on gamble. Oh, fuck off. So let's play it out for the next board. I will do that on the video, because we are quite a bit into this now. So let's just put another fiver in. There we are. So now we're coming up to £135 in. Just lost the gamble to our eyes. Put us into a saucer start. Let's just see if it reds up MIB. Which it hasn't. And you know what? I'm going to do exactly what I would do out in the wild. Which is just kill that board off. There's no point. The problem with taking the game, of course, is that even though the game is allegedly pretty good at putting 50, 100 or MIB into the box, the issue with that is that once you take the game, you are kind of committing yourself to a forced win. Because you are going to get something off it. That's the problem. And when you're this far in, we're coming up to 145. We're going to be 145 into this. It's still losing the gamble on 50p. Still losing the gamble on £1.50. God almighty, the death of the AWP, folks, is right in front of you here. And now it's given us the flying saucer starts. Let's just see if it reds up MIB. Donk, donk, donk. Nope. Okay, I'll do what I'll do in the wild, which is just kill it off. There's no fucking point. If your top streak is not red, there's no fucking point. And that is 145. Let's put another fiver in. That, folks, is now 150 quid into a pub AWP. Oh, God almighty. There we are. So we're going to have to put more in. Another tenner. I'm sure we've all stood in front of uh, Betcoms that aren't in a good mood and done this. I know I've had a couple of balls deep ones into these. I think the worst I have ever had is 185 for a 150. It did at least go for a 150, but I've been 185 into a New York, New York. That's the worst I've ever had. And we're not going to be a million miles on, on this one, are we? And bear in mind that we're playing this an 86% payout. So we'll play this board out and just see what it wants to do. We've got to be shooting 25 quid, 
soon, surely. I mean, we haven't got the uh, the, the top streak there. He's not red. MIB is not red, but let's see what it wants to do on this board. We'll just play it out. I mean, I wouldn't really bother with this out in the wild. There's just no point. In fact, you don't want that now because when it's not red, it can do weird values like, you know, like 105 or 110. In fact, you know what? What I would do in the wild here is kill that off because that's become dangerous because we don't want the MIB when it's not red. Okay, so that is 160 quid. We're now going to go into the 160 to 170 block. And bearing in mind, folks, that these are pub fruit machines. This is what they have morphed into. This is what they have become over the years. The things that we used to play with those 480, 6 pound, 8 pound jackpots have become this. And this is why they are now dying. This is why they will shortly become an extinct species. So MIB has gone red there, but it was off the source's entry. However, apparently it can do it off uh, the source's entry, this one. So we'll play the feature out and see if it's possible. Let's look at these cash shots there. I've still not seen a fucking £25 cash shot. I don't think we've even seen a £15 cash shot yet. We've got the Mega Game, but bearing in mind that we are like 170 quid into this at this point. Shall we go for a higher on that? Let's just see if we can get a £25 cash shot. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on. That'll do 10 an hour, will it? Oh, 15 quid. There's 15 quid. And it won't let us gamble on that one. This is going to be... What have we got there? Wild, wild... Don't think there's anything going on there, is there? Give ourselves the best chance of amazing cherry win. So this is now... This is the 180 block. This is going to put us 180 in after this block of credits here. Is MI... It's reading... I think this should be ready now to actually be reading up properly and consistently. It's taken so much. So let's just see what this feature does here. Not to say it's going to give it to us, but I think that will be. I think we've got a nose gamble there. I think we're going to be at the point now where it will genuinely do reading up the, the feature. I think we've just got to hope now that it's actually going to do the 150. Just carry on round. It may. Sometimes they surprise you. Sometimes they will actually let you in. First time. Other times they... Oh, fuck off. Oh, dear. Don't fa Oh, we've survived it. We've survived it. I uh, don't want to miss that for uh, extra life. It doesn't like you having extra life at the best of times. We've got the mega game open. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh dear. Nope, there we are. So we've got to get back on the board now. There we are, we've got a bonus. Double it up, that's fine. We just want the exchange. Oh, bollocks, we just want the exchange. Don't give me the flying saucers. We need a number and not the flying saucers to get in. A win. Oh. Okay, that is now... There we are, that block there is 180 to 190. And we definitely want to see that... Oh, that fucking logo has got to be reading up now. It's got to be reading up, so come on. Oh, it's still losing the bastard gambles. Come on. You fucking arsehole. Oh, can you, can you imagine? This is so in... It's like I've said this before about these machines. It fucking annoys me in the end. Oh, there we are, and it's now given us the, the sources. This is exactly what they will do out in the wild as well. They are in infuriating things to play. And you see there, the logo's not even red. It didn't even red up there, so we're going to kill this off. Because we, we've got to be going in now with the chance of a 150 to try and get away with our dignity and our underpants intact on this one. This is fucking awful. So this is now officially, this is the 190 to 200 pound block. 200 quid 
get a jackpot out of a fucking pub fruit machine. There we are. It's God, it's still lo it's losing the gamble from a pound. Will it put the saucer in? No, okay, it's given us a chance there. No, it's lost the gamble again from a pound. Who thought Who thought this was okay? Who th right, they just saw what it did there to a tenner. So now we are on to the 200 to 210 block. And this is on 86%, folks. This is on 86%. Donk, donk, donk. Is it going to go red? Upgrading. That did, I think that upgraded uh, MIB then, didn't it? So, let's see if we can get it. I think that, yeah, that's... I don't know whose idea it was at G-squared here to have red symbols that go red. That's not the best idea in the world, is it? They go a bit more red. We're not really fussed about the cash shots at this point. We just want to get on the uh, inner board, get our super shots. I'm not even going to gamble on that. It doesn't matter. It's kind of at, I think it's kind of at max happiness now. Prior to giving us. And actually, t let's just use the uh, move in there. We may as well. Yeah, it's so the MIB is definitely red. We may as well gamble on that. You could make a case for just having a gamble on the four. Yeah, okay. If it wants us to have it, it will, it will let us have it. I've got to go on the ten as well. Okay. I wouldn't be. You know what? I would not be beyond the realms of surprise if it lets us have it on this one. Oh... You know what? We'll go for it on a four. We'll fucking go for it on a four. Fuck. Maybe we shouldn't have gone for it on a four. So this is gonna. This is getting really ugly now. Oh god! You just go through the money so quick on a pound to go. A boost after two hundred and ten quid. A boost that doesn't really put you in. Yes, of course. It is redding up now. That that's a genuine redding up. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, what do we want to do? We probably want to get on the inner board first before we take our double shots. Oh, skill swell. Do we want to just go in first then? Let's just go in. Oh! Okay. Let's just pretend that nobody saw that. Sorry, it does, doesn't really make any fucking difference. It's going to do exactly what we want to do, but uh, yes, I did miss that there. Sorry about that. If it's the board, it's the board. It'll, it'll let us have it if it wants us to uh, have it. There's a £10 shot. Oh, come on. It'll probably kill us on that because it just does not like you having an extra life. Okay, game is open. We don't really care about that. Shall we have a gamble? I'll gamble on that. Why not? Well, if you see it shoot the 100, then you can be pretty confident that it is the board. Okay, we'll go higher on that. May as well. Uh, lower than a 10, our survey said. Okay. It shouldn't be far off letting me fucking have this. Oh, do we gamble on a four? We'll carry on round. Mega game open. Oh, don't put me out. Oh, no way, no way, no way. No way, no way. Oh, absolute fucker. Okay. So we are now on the 210 to 220 block. Imagine if you're doing this on the real machine we are now coming up to 220 pounds into this it'd better do the bloody 150 when it finally goes and look how quick is that another tenner it's had another fucking tenner so now we're on the 220 to 230 i do not think this thing liked being over percentage because it's properly taken it back out look at that don't you dare put the saucer in. Oh, it has done. There we are. So maybe it'll do off a saucer start. We are, after all, 225 quid in at this point. 
Okay, so it has readied it up. And I think the theory... There we are. So I think the theory is that this thing can do it off a saucer entry. If it's kind of, well, inverted commas, happy enough. Do we keep gambling here? Yeah, but I think we just keep gambling, don't we? And, uh, on anything like a respectable number? Oh, he's wanting all the fucking shots, though, isn't it? I really do hope... Oh, okay, we're going to have to move around the board now. I really do hope there's a 150 in this. Oh, cool. Oh, we... Um, no, just gamble there. Come on. No, we've got to move around the board then. We've got to move in on the bonus there, which will pull us back in if it... Uh, oh, lower than a 10? Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Are you seeing this here? This is getting really ugly. I would be very... I'd be getting a bit fucking sweaty if I was... <laughs> There's another fucking sword to start. If I was stood in front of the real machine and it was doing this to me. And it must be ready up sure. I'm keeping an eye on it there. You know what, folks? It hasn't even readied up there. That that's that's normal. So we got to uh, we'll kill this board off. Fucking hell. Uh there is a red hot bonus there. I don't think that does that count if you get it red through doing that? See, so we can... Oh, so I could go lower there for an MIB. So everything's red. Ooh. You know what? I don't actually know. Does that count if it's not red off the entry? We have made it red there. Ooh. Shall we go for it on that? I would say it's probably the board now, but... Let's just see what it does. And it did give us a straightforward gamble there. And we have turned it red, but it was not red on feature entry. Okay, what we'll do then, we'll just keep going round and see what it... Oh, for fuck's sake. Hilo Cricket. Mega board out. Oh, okay. We'll keep, we'll keep going, folks. We'll keep going. Is it going to put us back into the uh, inner board? We are like 230 quid into this fucking thing. We'll take our double shots. That might help us. Right, that, that's going to be there, surely. Come on. And we've got double shots here. Okay, do we? Ah, no, okay, we'll carry on then. Oh, for God's sake. It's making heavy weather of this, isn't it? Fuck me. Uh, move in. That, that should do it. That should do it, shouldn't it? Move in. Come on. In fact, we can't fail there. That's got to be it. Literally. Can oh, God almighty. So, £229 to get that. So even a 150 is going to leave us down here. It better do a 150. God almighty. The music isn't too bad when you get... The, the music on the board is horrible, but the music when you get the actual uh, MIB streak isn't too bad. Okay, here comes the big one. We're going to get... That's 150. Do... Uh, sorry, 100. Do a 1. <gasps> it has. It's gone on. It's gone on. It's done a 150. Fucking hell. So we're going to escape with our... Oh, I'm going to say our dignity intact. Not really, but fucking hell. And yet I have had... Nothing is quite as bad as this. But I have had a 185 tussle with a New York, New York. So, not quite as bad as this, but I know there's folks over on Jackpotty have said they've been 200, 200 plus into these things to get them to go, if you get them wrong. 
So it's going to do 150. 150 banged on the nose, guaranteed. It won't carry past that. One fifty p to finish, and that will be it. That's all, folks. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, you know what? There is literally, if you're being like a little bit uh, blasé about this, you would walk away. You just collect the one fifty, but because you can guarantee one hundred percent, it's going to be that's all, folks. But we'll put a pound in just for the sake of it. Yep, yeah, that's your lot. There we are. So we'll collect our one fifty. That will be a nice bank collect at least. It's always nice to get a 150, but crikey, that cost us. We are going to be down. So let's just move to uh, her session. You can see there in real time as the bank collects out, you can see the per session stats. And it's going to be a bit ugly, folks. It's going to be a bit ugly, this one. Which I kind of thought it would be, but oh, look at that. Even after a 150, we're 81 quid down after a 150. And shall we just, for the sake of argument, let's just see what it wants for a board now. So that's another tenner. Well, 11, because it was a pound after the, uh, the uh, credit break, wasn't it? Let's just see what it wants off us to get back on. Maybe we'll get a board. Maybe we'll get a miracle. Will it just... Okay, put us in. Put us in. No. No. Come on, put us in. I'll, I'll take the first... There we are. I'll take the first exchange opportunity I can. Let's just see if we can steal a bit of something off this. Maybe a game. Oh, mega game. Mega game. Right. Oh, right, now then, now then, now then, now then, now then, let's have a once move on the board. Uh, well. Shall we just take the Neuralizer and see what it, oh, we could take the game, but obviously you've got to, then again, if it finishes on a 15, obviously we've got to hit it on those there where the Neuralizer is. But a 45 wouldn't be so bad. The only one it can really fuck us with is a pound or 15 pounds. Other than that, oh, which way round do you do it? Do you do it Neuralizer or game and see it from there? We'll do, the, we'll do that. We'll do the goal. Oh, God, there goes the fucking... Oh, oh! Do you take that or do, do you take... Oh, fuck. Ah. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. God. Oh, fuck. Could we done better than that? Could Let's just see. Maybe it's got a little bit of life left in it. That was... Ah, you twat. Oh, um, is it going to give us the game back now? Oh, uh, there's possibly something better I could have done there. Is it going to open up the game for us? We had a mega game there. We had a £28 deal, was it? Uh, let's have a look. We'll give it another board. See what happens. Let's give us a few cash shots here. I mean, if we can hit the, the point here, is if we can hit the little cricket fella, he will actually open up the game for us, but not like the, the super game. It's not dead, is it? It's not on its arse. Maybe there's a little bit of value left in this. Mm, I gambled on that. Okay, so... And if we can get the, uh, if we can get the game open, I'll definitely take that. Extra life, it won't like us having that. It'll have that off, off us uh, fairly sharp, as you can be sure. Oh, there it goes, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's not going to let us open up. Maybe the... Ah. Oh, there we go. That's unfortunate. We'll collect that out. We'll, we'll collect it out. We'll go for one more board. 
it does kind of give some credence to the idea that maybe the game is the way to go on this. And not the straight falls. Let's just see if we can get the game open. Game is it? so we've gone in with the game open. The game is open right out the gate, but it's like the the basic one. And we've got no uh, we've got no muralizer on that either, which is the problem. Oh, I just have a go at that. Oh, I don't. Know. Oh, it's gonna happen soon. I think if we're not careful, shall we just take the game? Just get... Oh, fuck, I should have had the game. Ah, oh, that'll teach you. Degsy, 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 you should have just taken the game. I'm going to probably be in rubbish. All right, then. Oh, come on. Can we get on the board? No. Give it one more. Give it one more. But we are... Th I'm going to walk... Wait! See there, my stats. My per-session stats. I'm like a hundred quid down at this moment in time. Come on, give it one final throw of the dice. Oh, come on, one more board. That does put me over a hundred pounds down. Oh, God, oh my, come on. No. Oh, I'm fucking done the saucer start. Harsh machine, harsh machine. And bear in mind, folks, we are on an 86% payout on this one. You're not going to find these at 86% out in the wild. I think whatever chance at value I had has just gone, hasn't it? I think there's a chance for a little bit of follow-on value from that board. And it's gone now. Let's just see what this board does. Well, oh, the game's open. The game's open. This is how you get fucking sucked back in, though, isn't it? I don't want to push it too far, but... Game's capping out at 75. Oh. Come on, fudge it. Oh, can we get a... Could use an ad again if it hits a little fucking cricket again. Oh, and it has! There's the super game! Right, okay, we'll have the super game. We've got a chance of getting the neuralized there. Come on. Last throw of the fucking dice here. So you can see which. You can tell which ones it is and it isn't. So. Oh, it could be 10p. It could be 10p. That is a risk here. Fuck. That is a real risk. It's 10p. Oh, no, it's 10p, and it? Don't... It's 10p. Oh, no, it's £2 or £20. You fucking wanker. Oh, £2 plus repeat chance. No. Wanted to get another neuralizer. Oh, all right, we'll collect that out. Right, I'm, I'm going to go back in for another board to see if I can get the game. Okay, we've got the super game open. It's just, oh, shall we take double shots? I could take the super game right now. It's shooting fairly high cash values again. But I, oh, it's going to fucking have me here, isn't it? Oh. I have got the super game there. Oh, if it just hits one more icon, I will definitely take the mega game. Oh, it's going to kill me, it's going to kill me. Bonus add again, that's no use. Some of these features are probably alright, are they? We're into the top tier of features here. Oh no, no, no! Should have taken that. Fuck. Okay, we have got the mega game open here. I think I'll take that. Right, let's just take the super duper golden game here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh no, there goes the fucking... Come on. Ah! Ah! What? Ah. I'm 127 quid down. I've got to get the M... Come on, give me the MIB. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for MIB, please. Ah! 
No, 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 no. Do one more board. Right, I'm clearly getting far... Look at that, it's doing 15 pound cash shots now. I've gone far too far back into it. Oh, that's going to have me. Oh, for fuck's sake, what are you doing, Dexy? This is... Uh, if I can just get the mega game, I'll take the mega game. It is offering the game. I, don't, I can't even explain why I've got so stupidly back into this. There goes the life. Can I just get that? I'll, I'll take... I can just get that fucking neuralize again. Again, I'll be happy. I'll leave it at that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we have now got the super duper game. I'm 156 quid down. I can just take the game right now. I've got lots of neuralizers. Oh, could I just get an extra life? Oh, I shouldn't be pushing around the board here. Oh, should I just collect the uh, collect the super duper? One more spin. One more spin. Oh, look at the streak there. Oh no! It's gonna have me, isn't it? It's, it's gonna have me. Oh look at this! It's it's not ready up. It's oh, I've got an extra life. Okay. Oh fucking you twat! Oh, uh, you know what? We'll take this uh, super duper game here. Final throw that I know. I said final throw the dice about twenty minutes ago. Come on! Come on! Keep the MIB there. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> 56.25! Oh, it doesn't... Oh, go on, reject. Yes! <laughs> yes, it's there! We got the fucking hell! So, it can indeed put it in the box. Are oh, you fucking piece of shit? My word. But, yes, the, the jackpotty crowd there, they said it can put it in the box. Don't get too focused on force in this thing. Consider taking the kind of golden game, and there it is. It did put MIB in the box, and it's still going to be a loss on this one. But at least we're going to, like I say, get away with our dignity intact on this one. I don't think it goes past on this. I think this is going to be a flat 100, but, oh, fuck, I'm still going to be down, but, oh, I'll have it, I'll have that. Oh, so that's your lot, there we are, so that's, that's it then. But we did get, you saw there, we got the, uh, we got the Mega Streak off the Super Duper game there. Uh, last feature, oh, Flying Start, come on, come on. Right, no, we're just not going to fuck about on this. We're not going to fuck about. We're just going to... In fact, what we'll do is if we hit a mystery before it offers anything decent, we'll take a cash or bust just on the off. Let's just be careful here. Let's not hurry around the board too much. Let's just see if it's prepared to just give us a little bit of something. I can't imagine it. I can't imagine it happening. But we'll be careful. We'll be careful. No. Oh, we've got lower there, you see. You see that? It's going to shoot all the shit out, isn't it? Five. Five pound, no good to us. Oh! Seven, with a, a no-lose gamble? Oh. Oh, you bastard. We'll uh, maybe looking at a cash or bust here. Although there is a game over. You can't fucking cash or bust on a fucking game over, can you? So, oh. Uh. Let's just hope it doesn't use the game over square. Right, okay, we'll do a cash or bust. Come on. Last tenner or something like that, maybe. Oh, <laughs> too quick. Not really good enough. Right, okay. Right, fuck it. <laughs> oh, dear. There is something about, I've got to say, there is something about being able to play these, these £100 Betcoms and semi-clones G-squared machines in the emulator. There is something strangely alluring about playing them in the emulator. And part of the reason for that is you can play them in ways that you wouldn't have played them out in the wild because it would have just cost you too much money. The way I played that there, I just got so back into it in a way that you just wouldn't do in the wild. You'd have walked after that 150. But it is curious. That is now the second time 
I have had, well I've been playing around with this before I made the video, I had the MIB, uh, MIB streak out of the Neuralize there and I just had it on video there. So it does look like the, the folks over at Jackpotty people were saying this like five years ago. You know, don't just for these don't just force these fuckers out, have a little think about just uh, collecting the streak off the golden game. Because it does like to do the, the big boxes, the 5100 and the MIB. And that does seem to be the case. Right, there you go. That lasted far longer than I was intending it to. But I think it's worth it just to get the fact that there are DXs now. When I did the original video on the 100 pounders, we had the classics. The classics are fine. I am more than happy to play classics. But it's nice to have DXs as well. Just to reiterate, this uh, Winston's DX by Tommy C is fantastic. There's some other great ones out there by Vectra and a couple of others as well. And now Ross is back on the scene as well. He hasn't released a layout for a while, but he's come out swinging with a really nice DX for Meerkats in black here. So the full horror show of the £100 era of the Fruit Machine is now fully on display at your local fruit machine emulation emporium really good fun to play in that you can do it without risking any money but you can still get pretty fucking cross in the process as i just did there i could like i say the worst i ever did was a 185 so i've never had quite as bad as this did here but i'll tell you that 185 in that was getting a little bit sweaty Anyway, I will wrap this one up here, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I will catch up with you next time. But for now, as ever, it is goodbye.